The following program is rated GE. It is suitable for general family viewing. Hi and welcome to another episode of The Realtor with me Robert Dongo and today we are here at KICC whereby we have the 31st edition of Kenya Homes Expo. At The Realtor we tell you this where we have to unearth and, and surface everything that pertains or concerns you as a consumer or even as a provider of these services pertaining to the real estate industry in Kenya. Come with me let's see what they have for us. Yes, and as I've told you, this is where we are, the 31st Kenya Homes Expo. I'm joined by one of the organizers, and we're here to know how it has been over the years. Now being the 31st episode, or 31st uh, uh, edition rather, we are here to understand this more, because you're there, you're a realtor, all your consumers have always told you. And welcome so much on set. Uh, you can say hi and tell us who you are. My name is Winnie Olo. Uh -huh. I am the head of the PR of uh -huh. the Kenya Homes Expo. Right. We are on our 31st edition. Uh -huh. We've done this for over a decade. We are talking close to 15 years. Right. And we have expanded and grown together with the Kenyan market, uh -huh. East Africa, Central, and now uh -huh. we are looking even beyond our continent in Africa. Uh -huh. So we are having even the interest of the Asian market. Uh -huh. We also have people coming all the way, mm -hmm. all the way to from Europe. With Yes. that we're attracting here. Uh -huh. So we can all say that it has been a very nice journey and we mm -hmm. are looking forward to hosting more of these events. And uh, when we talk about uh, the 31st, uh, uh, you know, edition uh, of our DK, that is over 10 years, uh, that means perhaps there are years that you do more than one uh, edition within Kenya and outside. Uh, tell us, w what is all about Kenya Homes Expo now that we are celebrating the 31st uh, edition? The Kenya Home Expo brings in key stakeholders in the real estate. Right. Think about everything that you need in the real estate. Talk of the associations, yeah. the policy makers, the decision makers, the different entrepreneurs that are in, into the business estate. So we are thinking of not only the developers, we also have the technology aspect to it, the security aspect to that too. And you also have a variety of things that in our home requires we're talking of the interior decors right so we are bringing in everything that is in real estate because it's a very interconnected market right. and those are ca the people that we want in our platform mm -hmm. and we are growing together and we're yeah. telling people that this is the place to be uh -huh. and we are as solid as one mm -hmm. so we are bringing all these people into one place but they can interact they can get sales and they can get insights to the latest global trends right all at our one platform okay Yes. So basically what we're talking here is uh, part of uh, uh, you know the, the big homes expo or yes. uh, real estate industry in Kenya is that we can have all these under one roof and this has been made possible uh, by the Kenya Homes Expo. We are here with the head of PR, head of public relations and we shall bring you more when it comes to uh, you know what concerns you as far as home, uh, I mean homes expo is concerned. Now I know there has been handles that you've been able to, you've managed to overcome there has been uh, challenges that you have been able to overcome but maybe we can start with the mileage that you've been able also to come uh, this far over a decade I want you in a nutshell to tell us uh, how has it been how is it has it been bringing all stakeholders as you mentioned together for one common goal bearing in mind uh, most of your uh, service providers are competitors well we have uh, what we what works for us for all these decades, it's the passion, the dedication of our team. We have a team of very talented group, and we are also passionate in what we do. We understand our market, we understand what needs. So we categorically feel what the changes that will be needed, and this is why people relate most to us. There is competition, competition is healthy, but we stand out. We have been here for 15 years and we are going to be here for longer. So we are definitely doing things right. We are attending to our markets, we are giving them what they need, and we are also having innovations every other time, so that we can, we can tap into the latest 
trends, tap into the latest needs of our people. This is something we are very keen on and we continue to deliver and we are, we are only getting better. Now one, one of the challenges that we had, which was, it was a global ch challenge, we had the COVID pandemic, which actually shifted how people were going to do business. It shifted on our perspectives. Uh, we had uh, the social distancing, and we, so that meant that we're not going to mm -hmm. have some we of the events. So yeah, for in the event management, it kind of it was a small hindrance. But we sat down and say, what are other ways that you can help? Yeah. What are other ways? Because mm -hmm. it was an it, it was an experience for all of us, everyone in the real estate, the developers, and we thought what are the most innovative ways. And if you think that uh, developers are the only ones to exhibit, then I'm here to tell you that you are very wrong because at this particular time we are at Robson Harris Advocates and these are people who are also very key when it comes to uh, securing your future, when it comes to real estate. Hello Mr. Sah. Karibu sana. Uh -huh. uh, niko salama, uko salama? Na, yeah, niko poa sana. Karibu sana. Uh, Hobson Harris Advocates. Uh, who are these? Uh, we are Robson Harris Advocates. We are a corporate commercial firm that has been in existence since 1956 right so we, we basically deal with conveyancing transactions uh -huh. and that's why we have come to Kenya Homes Expo yes so that we can help uh, purchasers and developers with their legal transactions all right and when, of course when you talk about uh, a law firm I believe you are diverse in uh, almost uh, you cut across all areas that requires your services but uh, today we are talking about the 31st edition of uh, the Kenya Homes Expo uh, I know you have a department that is purely set for uh, the property that goes with the property room maybe sure. you can tell us uh, what the extent that you go when it comes to this so at Robson Harris we have a fully fledged uh, department right. that deals with conveyancing transaction okay. which uh, is basically property law and real estate law mm -hmm. and uh, under under the conveyancing department basically yeah. we we partner with developers in uh, helping them from transactions from point uh, from let's say point zero yes. to point a hundred. Uh -huh. Point zero being uh, when a developer purchases property, uh, sure. and point a hundred being the instance where we give a lease right. the ultimate purchase or buyer. Uh -huh. uh, that, that's that, that's probably what uh, we do. Okay. Yeah. Thank you very much. Uh, get to know this that if you are there and you're purchasing an apartment, you are right. You you have right to own a, a title deed under that new law, the Section of Property Act. Uh, many other days that we've been having certificates, letters, and agreements, but under this law, we are told that you can have a, a, a whole title deed or the, a, a title deed that will prove legitimate ownership of that very particular uh, property. Yes. And we're talking about the 31st edition of the Kenya Homes X. And uh, this is where we are. Uh, they have been able to bring together key stakeholders, hundreds of them. And at this particular time, BioLeaf is uh, one of these stakeholders that we are talking about. We're going to have a bite and get to know exactly what they do. How are you, sir? Good, good. Uh -huh. Thank you. Yes. Welcome to BioLeaf. Thank you so much. My name is David. David. David Juguna. Right. I'm a sales engineer. I've uh -huh. uh, been working with BioLeaf for the last six years. Six years. Yes. That's a vast experience. Yeah. Awesome. Now, uh, tell us uh, something small about BioLeaf uh, because we're talking about scaling heights at the theme of the Kenya, uh, Kenya Homes Expo. Yes. Uh, in your effort to scale heights, BioLeaf. Well, BioLeaf is a company that uh, came in Kenya back in 2007. Sure. And then we partnered with Division Leaf uh, in 2016. Right. That's why you see the leaf. Okay. So we are in the wastewater department. Yes. We recycle septic water. Uh, back to clean usable water. Right. So be it residential, commercial, anywhere they sewage, uh -huh. we normally treat that waste uh -huh. back to clean water. Wow. But not for drinking. <laughs> <laughs> Get this right, we're not talking about drinking water. Water by the jazz is they recycle waste water and they make it reusable. So when you talk about a green life, you're talking about such uh, stakeholders. And that's why we, today we are here to make sure that we bring to your light all your information that we've got things that you may not know and you need to know. Uh, Mr. David, tell us something small about when you talk about recycling water. Is it the septic water? Is it the, uh, the, the drainage water? What water do you recycle? And perhaps uh, with the, the mechanisms behind this? Well, when I talk of septic water, right. uh, I, I mean black and grey. Uh -huh. I don't know whether you understand if black and grey. That is kitchen, laundry, toilet, showers. Yes. Anything that is coming from the house, yeah. that is what we recycle. Uh -huh. So what happens is uh, we drain everything into a centralised 
septic tank uh -huh. that has chambers. Okay. Uh, that is where we do the treatment. Uh -huh. So I can give you a, an example of what happens in the septic tank. Right. So we have a, a blower. Uh -huh. So th this is a model of the same. Uh, yeah. It's an oh, okay. example of what happens. Yes. You know, a septic might be about four sure. meters, six sure. meters. Sure. Depending but, on the capacity. Yes. Okay. So this is the concept of what happens. Uh -huh. So we have. Uh, let Let me give an example of a residential house. Yes, yes, yes whereby you have around 10 people. Uh -huh. uh, the space occupied is about 4 meters uh -huh. by 2 meters and a depth of uh, 1.7 meters. Uh -huh. So it will, tell, it will entail three chambers. So the first two chambers is where we do the treatment. Okay. So waste, all the waste from the house uh -huh. comes in, the first uh -huh. chamber and the second chamber. Right. It's aerobic process. Okay. So by blowing in air uh -huh. through the diffusers, huh? yes. we are breaking down the solids okay. and the waste. Also, bacteria are living in there. So, so, so maybe because I wanted us to have this in a nutshell. Mm -hmm. um, when you talk about the first and second chamber, meaning we have how many chambers? In three. Three of them. Yeah, three so, chambers. Uh, take us to the third one. The third one is the storage. The storage. Where you have now the clean water. Oh my. And we chlorinate it uh -huh. and we have a submersible pump. Uh -huh that now you discharge either for irrigation, washing cars, uh -huh. or even reflushing back to the toilets. So what we have here is a great problem that we've been having, the drainage issue uh, can be sorted and can be solved through technology that we're experiencing today. And BioLeaf are here today telling us that you don't have to mind about your drainage because the same water that is, that is troubling you, uh, when it comes to drainage, you can still have it when it comes to uh, recycling and reusing the same. Maybe for irrigation and? Uh, reflushing back to the toilets, okay. washing cars, uh -huh. or when it's raining and you don't need the treated water, uh -huh. you can drain it to the uh -huh. uh, drain it, storm drain. Yes. And it, it normally meets NEMA standards. Uh -huh. So when you're draining to the river, yeah. uh, it will help you get the NEMA discharge pumping license. Uh -huh. So by draining that, you know you are safe right. uh, through the NEMA and the city council. Uh -huh. Yes. Wow. What you need to do is uh, go to our Facebook page, that is uh, The Realtor TV 47, and ask any question pertaining the recycling of water and how you can do this. And of course, because uh, uh, BioLeaf have been here, we can connect you with them uh, and you'll have your answers and your cares concerned. We're going to move around and bring more uh, concerning what is happening at the 31st edition of Kenya Homes Expo uh, right here at KICC. Walk with me as we get to know more about this. Welcome back. This is the realtor and happening right from KICC where we are having uh, the Kenya Homes Expo, the 31st uh, uh, edition, right? And uh, we are here just to bring about what is all about uh, the expo, who are the key participators and more so what can benefit you from where you are as long as you have an interest when it comes to uh, home ownership or even the journey and the processes or even the services that come with uh, the home ownership. And I'm joined by Madam Winnie who happens to be one of the organizers as she introduced herself. Welcome back Winnie. Thank and, you. Uh, no, uh, tell us, you mentioned about the Europe market. Uh, uh, to, for me I'll talk about the overseas market yeah. and of course I believe this is a key player when it comes to remittance, yes. uh, growing our economy and uh, when it comes to the GPD I know it has a big count. Uh, I wanted you to tell us, as Kenya Home Expo, what do you have in mind for the abroad market, Kenyans who are not here? Yes. Now, on the Kenyans that are not here, yes. you don't have, you can also participate by being here somehow. Right. Yes, we have, we have interest in the Kenyan market, especially the Kenyan real estate. As we have said earlier, with the broad market and the broad opportunities that you are seeing from the abroad, where we have people setting up shops, you can also feel represented. You know, in a, let's say, in a typical Kenyan home, we have somebody who is staying overseas, uh -huh. who is always saying, who is always remitting money for a home to be made. Right. But they cannot possibly account for that. So by us bringing these developers and all these stakeholders in the Kenyan market, yeah. they can shorten their way of sourcing and actually going through that asshole yeah. by looking at the key participators that are here. Right. 
and then they can actually purchase their homes. Mm. You have people from all the way who talk of the U.S., who wants to, at the end of the day, they want to settle back in their country. Right. Because as they say sometimes, they're home, the natural home. And uh, other than the remittance, I believe most of uh, viewers and most of uh, anticipating um, all potential homeowners out there, uh, the biggest issue we have as Kenyans is trust issue. You know, and uh, uh, as Kenya Homes Expo, and uh, now this being the 31st, I'm very categorical because that means growth. <clears throat> what do you do to make sure that uh, the people you bring on board, uh, because anyone coming through has a lot of trust with what you carry through uh, as Kenya Homes Expo. Uh, what background check or what measures, what parameters do you use to make sure that you don't bring fraudsters on the limelight? Well, I can confidently say that most of our developers, let's talk of 95%, yeah. these are people who are signed up in reputable institutions. Okay. They are registered either in KPDA, in KMRC, or even other associations that recognize legit Legitimate businesses. Uh, yes. uh, uh, we also have the government who are there to, to tame these fraudsters. No, real estate is a billion dollar business and there is no one wants to lose such amount of money. Sure. That's why this, from our very first start, we incorporated the help of the partnership of these people right. to ensure that we have a fair business dealing yes. in all our aspects to it. Yeah. So on that you can just say the government has been so wonderfully supportive, our stakeholders, our partnerships has been so fulfilling. Yes. And you continue to actually anchor on these uh -huh. people so that you can have a sanity mm -hmm. We can assure people value, we can assure people of, of uh, the best investment return, which uh, is very important. And, and maybe, uh, Winnie, as we talk about uh, the safety and the security of our viewers, who happens to be your clients by extension, <coughs> all your partners by extension, maybe you can tell us, do you have, uh, maybe you may not mention, but do you have people you have blacklisted who cannot uh, come and exhibit at the Kenya Home Expo? Well, when coming to the Kenya Homes Registration, to participate yes we have as we mentioned we have our key partners right. our key partners that ensure that you are in business in legit businesses we have had so far success rates because one of the people that come they come over and over again yeah they come over and over again so so far it has been a nice growth yeah with our, our developers, people coming in, they're legit. Uh, their satisfaction rate is very high. Right. Yes, so this is one thing we are always keen to ensure. Yes, you are a developer. Do you have the right re requirements to develop? Are you recognized by an institution? Yes, because this is something right. very keen for us. Yes. And why I had to go that direction is simply because I don't want you to say you met this developer at the Kenya Homes Expo because we are so much concerned about your safety and the safety of your resources because as the realtor we told you this is a home whereby we shall put it in black and white what you need to know and what you need to do and not to do. And uh, Winnie maybe now you can tell us uh, you've talked about uh, your key partners um, but uh, I, I believe by this uh, especially the name that you carry you must have have the government stake at it. What's your relationship and how have you been working with this uh, with, the, with the Kenyan government? It's been a very cordial relationship. Right. Yes. Especially bearing in mind that the government, one, one of their four, killer, four pillars is the it's affordable, affordable homes, housing. Uh, yeah. Affordable housing. Right. So just driving that and the government also helping people access homes. Remember one thing, one housing comes as a basic, it's a basic need and it has to be affordable. It has to be legitimate. You yeah. have to have sanity through it. Mm. So for us, this is key. The government has been so supportive. We've worked all the way. We ensure that uh, our, our participation, our engagements are at an all time level high. Yes. And it has been so fruitful. We, had the, we have immense support from the the ministry sure. and this has helped us being said relevant right. into into the business market and the okay. event planning. Yes. Wow. wow. Yeah. So the government uh, is playing a big role when it comes to uh, supporting those who are doing uh, what Kenya Homes Expo is doing. Yeah. And now we need maybe as we wider, you can tell us uh, the future of real estate as far as your confines is concerned. What's the future of real estate in Kenya? Well, bearing the current conditions, you are seeing a hike. People want homes, but they want it affordable. Right. 
you want affordable housing, you have a, you want a community, you want a work, live, play, you want, you want your life to be built around that. Uh -huh. So you want, the future looks uh, at affordable cost. So I think uh, uh, the most people that are going to stay here, it's how innovative you are. Sure. How quick are you to invent? How are you catching up with the global trends? Are you embracing technology? Yes, and uh, as I've told you that we cannot uh, complete this today. But what we are able to do, we're going to do for your sake. We are here with Echo Dash Power Solutions. Kindly introduce yourself and tell us who you are to the company. Thank you. My name is John Bayi. Yes. I am the sales uh, technical head wow. in Echo Dash Power Solutions. Right. We are a solar company. Mm -hmm. We here offer green uh, green solution. Sure. So where we try to give solution to customers that are always going to lower their power bills. Okay. So we give solar water heating solutions, uh -huh. solar lighting solutions, right. and also power lighting, power backup solutions. Uh -huh. Yes. Wow. So you're there. You're again wondering where you can get the green life that you've been talking about, the green energy. Uh, the, these are the people to look out to. Now, uh, the theme here are the thirty first edition of uh, Kenya Homes Expo is scaling the heights. As Ecodesh Power Solutions, what are you doing to make sure that we are not where we were last year? So what we're doing mostly, we are trying to make sure that there's that transition from the KPLC uh -huh. and people translating to green energy uh -huh. so that we can be able to <laughs> offer a viable solutions sure. whereby people are minimizing and they're more dependent on a natural source of energy right. rather than the KPLC, which is too much expensive, has become very unreliable. Uh -huh. You cannot actually... I rely on it in terms of consistency and uh -huh. efficiency. Uh -huh. But now when it comes to solar solutions, uh -huh. we want to provide a solution whereby we we want that our people uh -huh. to be able now to access energy for free. Right now we are looking at affordable homes are having a major intake and also the apartments are having a major intake. There are so many developers that are just selling out their apartments. Winnie, it's, being, it's be, being, being a representative yeah. of uh, the people out there yes. and bringing about all these stakeholders, yeah. what's your biggest challenge today? Our biggest challenge, uh, we have many people coming in, so we are growing the market rapidly. Right. And this is also on our side, we have to expand rapidly. The capacity. To we have to expand our capacity. Right. For example, we are having uh, beyond, we are first for, for the East African and the Central African market. Right. But you're having the Asian market coming around. You're having all these people saying, I want to be in Kenya, I want to be in Nairobi. So we are looking at a growing this market, reaching out this market niche, so that you can facilitate, uh -huh. we can together grow the economy. Right. Yes. And uh, with that in mind now, Winnie, uh, tell us, uh, will you be just organizing the exhibition? You have it in mind to do it in different way, or it's just uh, the exhibitions that we have with the exhibitors and the partners? All you have in mind or install something else that will perhaps will blow the minds of our viewers, be, mm. be it uh, buyers or the developers? Yeah, most, I can satisfy, satisfactory tell you that none of our exhibitions are repeated okay. Every, we have a theme like for today on the 31st kenya Homes expo we have the theme of scaling higher so we look at the we do a lot of research on the industry market so now our theme on scaling higher scaling higher we're looking at the trends the latest trends innovations and everything so this has been a, a, a key subject so we have every every time we have some uh -huh. yes. And uh, perhaps uh, maybe you can tell us how is the reception of the stakeholders? How is the reception? Impressive, uh -huh. impressive, uh -huh. impressive. It's wonderful. Mm. Yes. Okay. It's great. And uh, you you're ready to accommodate more? We are. We are. Please, I even just always book. We're always booking you up. Just book us. Call us. Let's get you a store. Let's do you your brand. Let's put your brand there above there. So we're always ready to accommodate you. Yes. Little bit to us. We're going to put it out there for you. We've been in business and you're going to be right. satisfaction. You there, you gotten this from the horse's mouth. This is the 31st uh, edition of the Kenya Homes uh, Expo. Kenya Homes Expo is uh, an organization that is set to exhibit and bring together all the stakeholders, be it uh, the consumers and this, uh, the providers. And when it comes to providers, we are talking of developers, uh, the developers themselves, the contractors, uh, the advocacies that are involved, and the government stakeholders all stakeholders when it comes to uh, the real estate de development in Kenya. 
and uh, what you are being assured here is that the future of this estate or the future of this uh, sector is so bright and uh, just uh, before I leave on your behalf and on behalf of other many I want to, we need to tell us we have seen the government take around counties their functions uh, that are used um, uh, that we used to have them in Nairobi maybe you can tell us what plan do you have when it comes to people who are in Kisumu people in Mombasa people who are in uh, the farm out Kenya Meru and Pass and they would wish to be part of this but they complain of the distance do you have in mind some of the, uh, something of that sort Perhaps? well to cater for the distance and the reach we currently we are very active on our digital platforms okay but you are not limiting you to our digital platforms ah. too take come to nairobi first let's talk about this and also in the since we are in partnership with the ministry this is something that you're going to definitely hear even in the devolved countries uh -huh. So we don't want to leave anybody out. Mm -hmm. Just be part of it, be part of the real estate conversation. Yes. This is something we are very keen on, on pushing up with the, with the ministries. Mm -hmm. So no one is to be left out. You don't have to be Nairobi. Wow. Yes, no, you, know, you can't have all the homes <laughs> in Nairobi. You yeah. can have uh, some others in... Think uh, of Kisumu, think of every other Any way. corner of this nation. Uh, you can have it. And of course, we've talked about going beyond Kenya. Yeah, going we're, beyond going, the ah, we're going beyond Kenya. The yes. confines of our nation. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Thank you very much. And uh, this is very impressive that you can, we are and anticipating to get out of, you know, uh, the boundaries of this nation to go to the Asian market, the Europe market, and also the Western market through the Kenya Homes Expo. And uh, could you be you're there and you've missed on something that you would want uh, really expounded? We have a platform for you. That is uh, the uh, the realtor TV47 on Facebook page, and also I believe Winnie, you have a Facebook page uh, that is uh, the Kenya Homes Expo. Ask anything, real time responses we're gonna provide you. And until next time, I've been your host. My name is Robert Dongo.